Hello and welcome to Mike's Garage. If you've already subscribed to our channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, please do. And when you do, be sure and tap on the little notification bell so you're notified every time we put up a new video. I wanted to remember to say that. I always remember to say that, but it's important to us. So if you tap on the little uh, like button, we appreciate that too. Okay, we're having a good time. Um, in our last video, I kind of worked on the cam chest of this motor. I've just been, I've been prepping and prepping and prepping these cases. And in the middle of working on it today, I decided it was important that I say something relevant here. These are 1940 crankcases. That means they've been around 82 years. Yes, 82 years. They're entitled to be beat up. And the more I work with them and the more I check on them, the more things I find that I've missed. And so I want to be sure and bring that to everybody's attention. We're prepping a set of cases. Now, the last guy that, that put this thing together way back when, he was good. I mean, he... There are some things here that just are not worn at all. The bearing races appear to be in nice shape. I don't know because I haven't lapped them yet. The, uh, the cam bushings, they're in very nice shape and fit the cams very well. All that sort of thing. But I'm looking at threads that are very, very old. I was looking at this thing today and I thought, gee, I really haven't cleaned that timing plug thread very well yet. Let me tell you, when you're running down the road in a hundred and some degree weather and the motor is running who knows how many degrees and you're doing about 80 miles an hour and all of a sudden that timing plug blows out and that hot oil blows all over your leg, I guess I should have looked at those threads a little better last time I put it together. That's when you go to an auto parts store and you find one of those do-it-yourself oil pan plugs for when you drain, when you strip that drain plug in the oil pan of your car. You get one of those rubber things that expands in there. They work in timing holes and Harleys too. And you can get home. Just word to the wise. But anyway, just for fun. So I've been working on these cases and working on their, these cases and uh, I decided I wanted something to hold them while I lapped the, the, uh, the surfaces together, the mating surfaces. So what I did was I looked at the uh, right case and having a pair of, or having some uh, locating dowels sticking out, I just drilled some holes in a couple of uh, scroungy 2x4s here. And uh, there's another locating dowel right there. And now we have a nice seated case here to work with. Now when I first started to lap these things together, of course I had to clean them and, and everything's been cleaned over and over and over. And I know before I'm done with this thing, I will probably clean these cases another 20 times. And by the time they go back together, I hope they will be surgically clean. That's what I want because you don't want anything to contaminate the internals of this motor. One of the things you want to remember is you have roller bearings and any bits of garbage or anything that gets in there will ruin an otherwise beautiful motor. So let's get on with these uh, with surfacing these uh, mating surfaces here. I have cleaned them and cleaned them and cleaned them and oiled them and done all sorts of things and worked with them because I didn't want to put everybody through as much time as I've gone through with them on, on them today. Which, by the way, it is so hot. Okay, I complained about that again. All right, so I'm going to take a Q-tip here. And I'm just going to put some fine lapping compound which is what this is, is valve lapping compound. It's really interesting when you go to buy valve lapping compound today. You know, 
all these companies have been bought up by other companies and and so it comes in a box and the box might say anything on it but by the time you get the compound open you get the little can it says nothing on it so I guess they can put it in any box I don't know it doesn't take much no it doesn't take much of this stuff here you just kind of I just kind of paint it on with a Q-tip because I don't know. It turns my fingers real dark if I don't, and, and I got to scrub them real well. And I don't know if this stuff is bad to get in your system. Probably, maybe not. I don't know. But we'll get some lapping compound all the way around on this thing. Um, with these old cases, sometimes it's really hard when you're lapping them together to uh, to get them to rotate the full hundred, 360 degrees. But we've got it just about on here all the way. And if it doesn't move for you the way you want it to, you can always add a little oil to it the valve grinding compound will accept the oil. Okay, there it is. There it is. Okay. So here we're going to set this right on it. And I'll just set it right where it's going to go. And we'll get it to move back and forth a little at a time. There we go. Probably should have clamped this to the lift. Because I was doing it with just oil a while ago. There we go. No, I don't need to clamp it, but thank you, Mike. There it goes. That's exactly what I wanted. Like I say, getting it to go all the way around, you may or may not be able to do. In a perfect world, you can. This is old stuff, and what we really want is to get these surfaces, the, the mating surfaces, really lapped together so that they are really, really smooth, they'll really seal well, and the cases will really seat together perfectly. Now, what I did is I'm lapping them first, then I will line lap the bearing races afterwards. I will bolt these cases together, bolt them down, and then I will, and, and we will show that on the, uh, on the channel. We will be showing that pretty soon because we're getting to that point. But here it is. It's not a real big deal, but in, in the overall preparation on a motor, and I did show this, I believe, on, a, on an Evolution motor. I think I lapped the cases in one of, our, one of our videos. Anytime I build a motor, I lap the cases. That's standard procedure. You'll find it in your service manual. Now, see? Like I said, it's kind of hard to get it to go around 360 degrees. Okay. There we go. But again, like I said, this is standard preparation. It's time consuming. It is so worthwhile. Um, but this is, this is truly hand fitting. We're hand fitting the cases together. Pardon? Are they less likely to leak? Oh yeah. That's, I mean, that's part of it is sealing. For most people, they think that's all of it. And no, it's really the matter of everything really fitting perfectly. You want these bearing races to be exactly at right angles to the the parting line of these of these cases all those things the straighter the better the more perfect the better like i said we will be lapping the uh the bearing races 
That gets no gasket, right? The, the, uh, the, in lapping the cases, no. Where the cases, where the cases come together, there is no gasket. Okay. Use a good case sealer, and there are several on the market. Uh, the Japanese motorcycle manufacturers make them. They have good sealants. We have a, a couple in this country. The one I usually use is Three Bond. Um, to say that it's better than all the rest, it's the one I use. I've been real happy with it. So they don't get glued together. That cases don't get glued together. Yes, you use Three Bond or you use Yama Bond or one of those. So yes, they do get they do get glued together, but we don't think of it in that in those terms. It's not to say they're glued together, they're bolted together. But they but the you'll use a sealant in there, which is the point. There we go. It's like I worked with a guy for years, we get we'd get caught up in semantics. You know, the proper way of saying something. And it's really funny, a lot of our viewers, most viewers are pretty cool and realize, I'm not always right. My, my language may not be perfect. Um, I do what works for me. But, oh, he and I used to go round and round arguing over definitions of words and the proper way to say them and We'd get in some really good fights over it, which was really fun. Anyway. Um, actually, yeah, I think I will. But uh, let's see what it looks like. It's, it's going to be pretty ugly. Let's see. We'll set it down here. Got a nice padded spot to put it down on. And uh, let me get something here like one of these. And we'll get a good look at it here. Okay, let's get it right there and we can see. See that nice? Ooh, that feels good. Now, one of the reasons for the sealant is there are gouges and things in here that we aren't going to get them out. You know, we could do some microscopic welding in there, but why? You know, this is put together with a lip. You can see here how it, one lays over the other. Kind of a tongue and groove effect. And there it is. And uh, I will wash it and probably do it once or twice more to make sure that I'm really happy with it. Then I can bolt it together this thing will be bolted together several times before the final fitment. You know, by the time you get the end plays set and everything right and, and, and put it together and, and put it together with sealant, you'll find that you've had it together several times. And, oh, maybe you get lucky and get it all on the first shot. I don't think so. It just doesn't happen that way. You know, we've got spacers and collars and things that'll go in here. Um, we're also gonna need to put a, a seal in the left side of this case, which we will put in from the inside before the final closing of this motor, because that's the easiest way to put that in and get the end play right with the flywheel assembly. We want the end play correct and we want it centered in the cases. That seal will be because we're going to run a belt drive. So we're going to want to seal up the oil on the left side and run a, a belt primary drive. And the dogs are going crazy across the street. So anyway, this is the way we do it. I think we've got it pretty well, pretty well done, really. I may do it once or twice more to make sure that I'm really happy with it. But it really looks good. And... Uh, so we can do that, and then maybe I'll get on to uh, lapping the, uh, the uh, main bearing races, which are in the cases now. Hopefully they'll come out a real nice size by the time I'm done, so I don't have to replace those races. So, 
That's what we're going to be doing. And so until then, I'll see you out on the road.